Okay, what is up? Uh, welcome back to episode three of this uh, Minecraft Let's Play. I did some stuff, a little bit of stuff off camera, just a little bit. I added a new chest. I did some, a little bit more um, ore searching and stuff. So we filled this guy up and we we're smelting down some more iron. So that's cool. What I want to do today is I want to take the best of the best stuff out of here. Um, also, actually... Let me just um, add ten all in. I'm gonna add a thing here. Which is gonna be yellow, just so that I can leave some stuff here and be able to find it easily when I get back. But um, so I'm gonna keep on uh, talking about the mods that are in this pack, and I'm also going to. The goal for today is going to be to move. So, um, I'm gonna just grab the good stuff. For example. That's just a weird glitch. Grab the good stuff and, um, get on out of here. So, you know what I might want to do is... Or, ooh, wait, um, actually, a bag of holding. I know I saw that. Here we go. How do we make this? Ooh. Woof. So much, oh my god. That's, so how do I, it's a bag, do I have any other bags? Got the traveler's sack. Key bag, no. Um, you know what? Let's check out the traveler's sack. Void crystal block. Void crystal block, because I can make this. Other than also void crystal atomic reconstruct. Oh wait. Okay, so how do I make this? Iron. Well, we might need it. So okay. So what are we gonna bring? We're gonna bring diamonds. This resonating this thing. That's really awesome. So lapis. Yeah, I should bring it. Tiny coal. I'll just take 64 tiny coal. Black quartz. I don't like having things like this in my heart hot bar. Yeah, okay. Cobblestone. I don't need to bring any of that. I don't need any of this. Oh, I want to bring some redstone. Yellow right. Here, let's just put an apple there. Okay, um. Oh, I suddenly had a panic attack that the uh, <laughs> audio wasn't on, so. Okay. I also have to make sure I leave two spots one for this, one for this. So, oh, wait. Okay, I need to take my books. Gotta grab the crystal ball, which we'll get to. We'll get to shortly. So, prosperity shard. I'm gonna take the leather. Oh, another one. Ooh, I missed that. Uranium ore. Nope. This is all stuff that I can catch later. So, I might. Uh, do I need to take one arrow? Is it worth it? Take the stone bricks though. What is this? Iron ore. Don't know if I missed that I had that. I need to take this. I'll take two obsidian with me. Um, iron ingots. Oh, more string. Okay. I actually might get away with not. up here oh maggot. okay silver ore reptile hide no nope. inferior essence i actually might be cool or i'll take the, uh, i don't need a spider eye. um yeah i'm gonna be good without Why is that? so i have one spare slot oh, what the lapis nugget iron nugget i don't need that crap so I'm just going to take a thing of cobblestone. This is everything I want. Um, so what I'm going to do... Oh, shoot. No, I need to... You know what? I don't need this apple. We're going to sleep off the night. And then what we're going to do is... We are going to break the bed. Trash this thing. Break this thing. 
and we're gonna get moving. We're gonna keep going north because we've had some good, um, good luck going north. So just down here. Okay, no, stop getting sidetracked. Okay, so back to the mods that are in this uh, mod pack. Double the damage, half the speed. Not quite double the damage. So, okay, so. Uh, Cleese Slabs is another one. So what Cleese Slabs does... Oh, oh. Oh, man. I wish I could get that guy. Um, what Cleese Slabs does... Oh, my gosh. Is... Cleese Slabs makes it so you can mine up half of a slab. Um, if you put down two slabs, it lets you mine up one of the two depending on which one you're looking at so um that's awesome that i also added to the pack with the intention of uh doing that oh i see that uh sugar cane but there's i can't hold it um the skyblock thing so that's clee slabs we've also got um let's see that's a library 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 minecraft comes alive as you probably saw from the uh crystal ball that I have. We're going to be getting to that shortly. I just want to set up like a, I just want to find a place that I like for a home. I'm not... Ooh, look at these ants. That was very convincing. You're very convincing, sir. Um, actually, I don't know if you're a dude. Or a, ooh, look at that on the leg. That's really cool. Um, so there's that. Um, I just want to find a nice place to... Oh, I think those guys are automatically aggroed to me, so I'm not about that life. What is... What happened over here? I don't know. So, the... Um, Minecraft Comes Alive just basically makes all the villagers be more like uh, active NPCs. It's, it's pretty cool. Um, it makes a couple things harder, like an iron farm... <laughs> Um, actually, that might be it, but yeah, that's Minecraft Comes Alive. We've also got, um, modern metals. It's like base metals, but just different metals, just more modern metals. So there you go. More foods adds a bunch of foods to the game. This stuff right here, the cheese sandwich. You want a cheese sandwich? Sure. You want butter? Yeah, sure. Awesome. Uncooked pizza, a slice of cheese flour it's it's kind of like the it, it kind of adds some of the stuff that pam's does food plus it's got some french fries which i'm all about them french fries what the oh mm. uh what are you you an apple you're a cherry huh huh interesting these oh whatever you are i don't want to find out because you seem angry oh um, let's see, where are we? Ooh, there's that dragonfly. Okay, so we've also got the Morpho tool, which basically just becomes all of the wrenches from all of the mods once you create them and add them to the tool. So that's cool. Whoa. Oh, God. That just messed me up real bad. Freaking poison ivy. I gotta look where I'm going. Oh, there we go. There's some interesting terrain. Okay. Yeah, that's... That's where I want to go. Okay. Excellent. That's the Morpho tool. We've also got my chunk loader, which I think is... Did I do it again? I did it again. Which I think is obsolete at this point because I think there's more than one mod with a chunk loader in it. But I'll probably still use the My Chunk Loader Chunk Loader. Just because it's a separate mod, it's, it deserves some extra, you know, come up with a bunch of. Ooh, oh, I can't grab any of that stuff. So, what are you? A butterfly. Nice. Hey. What's up? Alright, we've also got one of my favorites so far in. Is this real? Is this real life? So much poison ivy. Uh, mystical agriculture. Ooh, ooh, ooh. And I found where we're gonna set up shop. 
might as well have a nice town to complement our new house. Oh yeah. So. Oh, that's a, okay. Whoa, what is this weirdness? Looks like there's gonna be plenty to explore. What is, oh, it just must let out on the other side. Okay, cool. Oh, this is a weird chunk thing. And there's a dying horse, okay. Stop dying. Oh, wait, no, I can help, I can help, I can help, I can help. What do you even, there you go. God. Okay. Okay, so yeah, one thing that I'm very excited about is mystical agriculture. It's um, it's basically the magical crops mod, but poured into 1.10, um, and it's awesome. I love it. Um, you heard me talking about it earlier. I don't know why I just mentioned that staircase or how, um, but we're actually that'll be possibly one of the first mods we hit. Um, probably either that or refined storage, maybe actually additions. But yeah, so I'm very excited about that. Um, come on. I'm gonna have to patch this all up. Okay, and it's town time. Let's see what else I could. What is. Oh, a fox. Oh. Ooh. You don't hate me, fox, do you? No. Okay. So yeah, mystical agriculture, really awesome. It's, it's just magical crops. Ooh, I saw, I see a particle effect from, ooh, from poison ivy, okay. Poison ivy. Ooh, what are you? You're from Batania. Ooh, and you're an Ent? Ooh, an Ent protected city? All about that life. Oh, and you, I don't have a way into this house. Without this. What the heck? What's going on? What am I doing? You're, you built your house underground. What was it? There's two of you? Okay. Wilfred the Armorer. Trade. Iron for an emerald. Then, is there a good emerald trade here? Somewhere? What do you got? Trade. Iron for an emerald. Yeah, no. We're not, we're not doing any of that stuff quite yet. Um, but that's pretty cool. Oh, wow. She did not waste any time leaving you, bro. Um, so here's a nice little farm, which I will gut as hard as I can shortly. Ooh, another farm. This one's an actually additions farm, I believe. Let's see. Actually additions, actually. Yep. Okay. I like it when they add things to things that already exist, if that makes any sense. Like, this adds a farm to the village which already exists. Oh, and I was hoping there would be one of these structures here. One, because easy lava, a furnace, and this chest. Electrical steel, huh? Lots of that. Diamond horse armor, flippers, and a saddle. Nothing I can use right now, but I will be back for you. Um, and what are you? The weaponsmith trade. Iron for an emerald. Ooh, cold iron for emeralds. Okay, more foods. Excellent. Well, we will be sure to uh, do all sorts of things with you guys. Ooh, are these, is this two villages? What are you? Oh, you're a guard. Okay. Well, I think I'm going to set up my house right outside the village. Oh, we're gonna own that elephant. We are going to be the owner of that elephant. Trust me here. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna eat up. Looks like it's almost sundown, yes. Eat up. We're gonna pop this guy down here and boom, okay. So this is part of Minecraft Comes Alive. We just walk up here, first of all, really cool just the commands or whatever they're doing here oh 
I broke something. Uh-oh. Okay, so am I a male or a female? I am a male, and I prefer females, and my name is going to be Mike. And now this is where it gets, things can happen. So either I have a family, I live alone, or I live in a village. Um, or none of these if I don't want it to affect anything. But I'm going to go with I live alone. If, I, if it says I have a family, it'll spawn me in a family and all this stuff, and then I feel bad when they die, and it's gross. So I'm just going to go I live alone, and what it's going to do is give me a nice little... little house Ooh, ooh! look at that entryway Ooh, I'm living the high life Ooh, is it a two-floor house with a garden and what is it oh I literally got the exact no one two three I just outside of town oh wait you're gonna bring me outside no second floor second floor with a bed <gasps> Wait, but this bed, I don't think I can... Am I gonna glitch out of something? No. Oh. Look at that! Living the high life, look at this! This is amazing! Oh, it's a, it's a, oh, what? Oh, this is a bachelor pad for sure. And then, oof, gross. Hate that, but I chose it, so. Yeah, my house is definitely the coolest one. A little weird looking from the outside, but hey. But hey. Um, so now what I need to do... Let's see. Get rid of the tomato seeds. And then grab some wheat. Yeah, there we go. Ooh. My cow is all about that wheat, apparently. Did you hear it go? Ah, nah, 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 nah. Oh, listen to it. It's loving it. Oh, and a cool thing about living this close to a village is I could just leave that. I don't need to do a wheat farm or anything. I could just... Oh, that's really cool. So, one thing I did not do was... I'll start some chests right there, actually. I was going to say I didn't take any chests, but um, that's okay. Because I'm going to pop that down there. Oh, jeez. I keep forgetting that I'm supposed to be sharing some info about these mods. How to do this stuff okay um sorry there's like quick stuff you could do like but i don't know it oh i bet you i can go jack some bookshelves and start getting yeah cool okay so i've also got neat which is an interesting mod it's just like a um let's see if i can find something that's alive yeah so it's just uh, like a hovering health bar thing over mobs. So it's that that uh, green health bar, health, health bar over the elephant. Um, so yeah, that's neat. Let me get in here so I could show you stuff as it comes up. So that's neat. I've also got open harvest, which is just a mod that lets you right click on crops um, to harvest them because not all mods support that. I've also got Optifine, which is how I keep zooming into things, and it also just helps with frames and awesome stuff. So there's that. I've also got Pam's Harvest Craft, which uh, adds a whole bunch of world gen and food. Pam's Harvest Craft. Look at all this stuff. World gen food. I you got two whole pages. Recipes. Durian? Gross. I don't want durian. Um, we've also got progressive automation, which actually is probably going to be before um, mystical crops and all that other stuff. Progressive automation. 
is uh, all this stuff actually. It's just simple automatable items. So like the wood chopper is something we can make right now. Um, actually, let's do it. So we're gonna do, oh, I already had a furnace. Oops, I thought I was missing the furnace, but I'm missing the wooden ax. Let's make it. Put it in there. Clickety, clickety. Oh, and a chest. Okay, no problem. Boom, 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 boom. I got a wood chopper. We'll get through uh, progressive automation in a second. Um, so that's that. That's pretty cool. We've also got Psy. Psy is awesome because uh, I'm not gonna fire it up, but it's like uh, you get it, you get these casting assistant devices, which is like it's like a gun that does spells, and spells can be like mining or placing blocks. It's it's really cool. We've also got the random things mod. Random things, um. It just has, uh, I bet you could have guessed it, random things. But most importantly, what it has is it has, in my opinion, most importantly, it's got this. The Spectre Key, which allows you to access the Spectre Dimension, um, which is really awesome. You make it with ectoplasm, which you, uh, you make it with spectral ingots, which you make with ectoplasm um, out of this stuff. Used to be a lot easier, but now it's that. So, uh, stable ender, ender pearl. You use that um, to make. Where is the evil tear? Yeah, you use it to make the evil tear, and then you use the evil tear to create an end portal, if you want. Um, yeah, the evil tear is pretty cool. But that's random things. It's a really cool mod. Um, we've also got refined storage, which I think uh, I think I started talking about when we got to easy storage. Um, so yeah, this is the one with just the, uh, with the ME system of choice. Let's look at easy storage for a second. Yeah, this is easy storage right here. So you just get different types of storage. Um, we've got RF tools, which is, again, there's item systems, there's upgrades, there's all sorts of stuff, but it is essentially just something that's gonna help us get uh, power and help us explore the world around us uh, another one we have is uh, simple achievements this one's broken right now there's there's nothing I can do um, but we have it it doesn't work but we have it simple achievements um, we've got snad it's got snad you make snad by combining two pieces of sand what SNAD does is it increases the growth rate of things like cacti and um, sugar cane. So that makes that easier. We've got uh, spawner craft. And that has an empty spawner, mob fishing rod, all this stuff that you could just use to um, make spawners. I don't know why I said it stupidly like that, but I did. We've got Tails. Tails, I don't think Tails adds any. No, it doesn't. But what it does add is this. And uh, you can add a tail. You know what? I like to add wings. You will go large wings, dragon wings. Um, or metal wings, huh? Well, let's go with these dragon wings. Yeah, these dragon wings. Done, and now, We've got wings. They're pretty awesome, if you ask me. Um, yeah. Hello, how are you? Oh, yes. Yes, hello. How are you doing? Okay, perfect. Excellent. Okay. We've also got Tape Mouse. What Tape Mouse does is... Tape Mouse is... It's amazing. It, it, it basically automates actions. So I'm trying to think of how I could show you here. Um, but basically, 
Here, I'll just show you. So you could go slash tape mouse attack two. And what it'll do is it'll just click the mouse once every two ticks. Um, or you could do tape mouse use and it'll uh, right click every two ticks. And this is useful. Oops. There we go. That's useful if you wanted to. Uh, here, I'll show you. So, yeah, we're going to stop that. <laughs> Tape stop. That's useful if you have like a cobblestone generator or if you are using something repeatedly on right click or anything like that. So that's really helpful. Um, we've also got teleporters. So this is just Lemon's simple teleporters. This one we'll be able to use. I don't know how much we're going to use. Actually, we'll probably use them more in this um, world than we did in my last world, but they are interdimensional, so that's cool. And uh, Actually, let me check out Chunk Loader. Just one second. It's, uh, the food's here. So, Oh, it looks like we do only have the one Chunk Loader, so how do you make this one? Very easily. Okay, just missing an Ender Pearl, and we could make it otherwise. So, that's cool. So, what else? teleporters we also have um tinker's construct tinker's construct all this stuff we've also got oof tinkers lags me out or something on this page lags me pretty hard i wonder what it is maybe the scythe or something i don't know maybe the bacon who knows this page uh, is kind of laggy. This page is fine. Interesting. Well, I don't want that stuff here. Because uh, sometimes it crashes my game. So that's stupid. We also have a Tinker IO, which is just an IO. Let's see. I don't think it adds any items. Oh, it does. So it's got this stuff. Okay, well, I'll have to look into that. What a beautiful block. Oh, wow. Yeah, geez. It would be a beautiful block. What is this? Pure metal! Crushed ore. Interesting. We've also got Tinker's Tool Leveling. That's hard to explain, or it's hard to show you, but what it does is it adds, like, a, um, just a, a proficiency bonus, um, once you use the tools a certain amount. So, it, it's... It starts over at every tool, but it gives you extra modifiers, and it's really, really cool. And eventually, lets you get just completely OP stuff. But that's the thing. I wanted this mod pack. I designed this mod pack so it's not OP right off the bat. Um, because that's kind of lame. So, there's that. We've also got Vein Miner, which you've seen me use quite a bit. Um... I might use it right now, right outside my door, because I hate this stupid grass. This regular grass? <gasps> I will use it right outside my door. Please don't be ordic married. Oh man. Oh well, it's not a. This block isn't registered in Tinker. Get out of here! I don't want you. I don't want you, silty dirt. Can I even use you to make regular dirt? Silty dirt uses. No. Coarse silty dirt. No, it's just gross. It's disgusting. I hate it. Um, so then we've got uh, the Wyla. And that's just the UI you see in the top uh, where it's like crafting station. Currently harvestable. That's got Wyla harvestability and the W A W L A, the Wyla. Uh, what are we looking at? Here we go. Let's sleep again. And then we've got zero core, it says. I don't know if that's a library file. So let's see. Uh, yeah, it is. And then we've also got tree growing simulator, which just means that if we plant a tree and we twerk it out, the tree gets, I'll show you. It's, it works like bone meal. 
Oh, I didn't bring any saplings with me. But, but anywho, uh, yeah, that's that. We're going to start next episode with the wooden chopper. So, we're going to start that right back here. I'm going to put it down, actually, right now. And so, next episode, we're going to hit this guy hard. Until then, I'll see you next time.